to teach our students what industry doesn't want. Why? Because our primary duty is to our students, not to our employer, not to industry, not to the government, but to our students. Of course it's important that our students should learn the technical and professional and social skills that are necessary for them to get employment. That goes without saying. But that is not all we should teach them if we want them to have long, satisfying, productive and worthwhile careers. In my paper, I propose four key subjects that I believe should be in every software engineering curriculum. First of all, professional ethics. Now, we've had numerous major examples recently where software systems have enabled actions that were immoral, unethical, illegal or possibly all three. And a responsible professional could and should have refused to implement these systems. But instead, they damaged the environment, invaded citizens' privacy and risked people's lives. Many years ago, I devised an introductory quiz for my software engineering students. And over the years, I have come to realise that without proper training, students are in a very poor place to make well-based well ethical decisions. Secondly, whistleblowing. Our students need to know when and how to blow the whistle. That is to expose corporate wrongdoings. Now this can be a risky and traumatic step, so we must emphasise the alternatives that they should look at before doing it. Consult with their peers. Discuss with their superiors. Cons consider the consequences with their family and friends. But if they have no other way of trying to prevent a damaging system being developed or deployed, then our students must know how to pull the plug when their personal and professional values demand it. Thirdly, career development. Our students can't expect a job for life. They need to know how to advance their careers, seek more interesting work, move to a new location or country, and acquire new skills and knowledge. As their professional mentors, we must emphasise lifelong learning, negotiating skills, and the importance of being part of a professional body. And fourthly, personal growth and values. We're not responsible for the students' personal development, but as, because as adults, they must find their own way and they must develop their own values. But if we want them to be reflective and responsible practitioners of software engineering, we must support them in this quest. We can help them in particular to be value aware, to consider what implicit values are embodied in the systems they are building. And we should help them to be committed to the common good, however and wherever they understand it. Now, none of these topics appear in the many survey articles about meeting industry's needs. Some might even be against a particular employer's short or long term interests, but they are all essential if we are to do the best for our students, for our profession and for the world at large. And by the way, the quiz is available and is in the paper. And I'd, if you use it, which I, you're very welcome to do, I'd love to hear the results you get. Thank you.